the power of all God. All right, guys, Kevin back. Uh, shit the bed for us. What do you mean by that? Cam performance. We've got Jared Tucker in the house today. Um, we're going to feature the newest addition to the McCoy uh, stable. Oh, yeah. Um, basically, I think he's, I think this deal was pretty much bought for his wife to run, right? Yeah, they, they had about four days in advance to prepare for this race. <laughs> right. I so, guess he found it online and be like, hey, this kind of suits what we normally do. It fits his normal profile of cars. Right. For sure. Which is? Pro Charge, Charge, small block Ford, and a Mustang. And tailpipes. Yes, absolutely. Got to have the tailpipes. Though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a well, pretty well sorted car so far. So really just going to see what it does on this new fuel and hopefully it can be competitive in the class. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, I mean, it's got all the parts to do it, so. Oh, yeah. Bikes hard to sound, hard to beat. Um, but anyway, that's a wrap of that deal. Uh, car ran out good. We're really sort of worried about the converter. I think the the previous owner was running a lot of uh, uh, no prep, you know, front side no prep stuff, um, and maybe that's why it didn't want to. I don't think it's just trying to blow through the converter. Um, Adam's sort of pretty worried about it, and uh, I see his concern. He's probably right. Probably wanted to change it for what we're going to do with the car, but I figure we might give it a go tonight and at least. But, We'll see what happens. All right, guys, next we got the world famous John Gory and his meth head machine. Most of you guys know it from the blower deal, screw whipple, big whipple that was on his thing. Now he switched over to twin turbo. He's been trying to sort some things out. And honestly, he just wanted to use the dyno as a tool to make sure it was safe to go to the track as far as leaks, transmission, whatnot. So that way, if something does happen, God forbid something's going on, we're in a controlled environment on the dyno. He ain't gonna crash and wad his car up in the wall for it being on his lid. I mean, this has happened before. The dyno is not only a tool to find power, it's just a tool to be safe. So when you go to the racetrack, you ain't worried about, hey man, I got shit running underneath my car. You can find leaks and, and stuff like that before you ever go to the racetrack. So just because your car's running right, another good use for the dyno is to make sure you're not gonna leak stuff out on the track and run over and end up on your lid. Just keep in mind, you know, using the dyno is more than just a tool to find horsepower. It's safety, all about safety. I got like five fire extinguishers right there beside us. So if we get on fire, we get you out, not burn the whole car up.
can't see fucking shit out of this thing. All right guys, now we got meth head off the dyno, we're moving on to our next contestant. We have Logan Robinson in his Procharge Ford. Um, he's been to the dyno a couple times, you know, we found some issues, fuel pumps and things like that. And he's just like everyone else, stepping his game up. Last time he come to the dyno, he come back, car running better than ever, personal best. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna leave the dyno today and do the same thing, we'll find out. 